this is kind of, um, this one is maybe a bit more sensitive, um, but price and value are not the same thing. So this little image on the right, I wish I could claim I drew it, but I didn't, but it's absolutely true. You, know, you get a glass of water, if you go in, if you went to a, a cafe, you, know, you don't buy, they'll give you a glass of water. And if you ask for a glass of water um, from the tap and they said it's two pounds, they would, you'd be, you know, you'd be shocked. But you would happily, well, some would happily buy a bottle of water on the, on the menu for two pounds. So the perceived value is higher. So what that says to me is that you have, if, you if you increase the value, then people will pay more and actually happily pay more. And so, for example, if you've got a better website, um, let me show you an example here. This really lovely venue. This fantastic venue, venue here, yeah, is amazing. And um, it's right on the coast near the cliff. It's modern. It's really, really great place. But if um, if I had a wedding there, if and then you look it up, I mean, the, the web page doesn't look particularly appealing. It doesn't look that fantastic. But if this web page looked more like this, and straight away, as me host it as, as it is my wedding, it feels like a better venue to have the wedding at. So straight away, by marketing it correctly and making it look great, it adds more value to people and they're willing to pay more. So you, it's actually, uh, you know, perception is a huge, is a huge thing. So if you make your venue look better in terms of the way it looks online, then you can, you can charge more straight away, that sort of thing. Um, and if you do more marketing, you have more demand, there's more demand, you can charge more again. So if there's no demand, you might start thinking, well, no one's booking it because the price is, is too high, but actually probably no one's booking because they don't know about it. Um, I've seen loads of village halls, you can rent them for eight pounds an hour. And um, it's, you know, it's massively cheap, but if you go to a hotel and you try and book, get a, a, um, a meeting room for an hour, it's gonna cost you a hundred pounds plus. So there's definitely a difference in pricing. and. Uh, so I would think about how you can put your prices up and you can try, you can try putting your prices up for um, places where people can afford it and are happy to. So, um, so if you look at your, your revenue from your, your venues, you can then break it down and see where, where does the majority of the revenue come from? Does it come from weekend bookings for weddings? Is it regular bookings? Um, what is it? And then wherever you find where it is, you can then make a decision. You can also ask yourself, how often do you lose bookings for being more for too expensive? And I, I would guess it's very, um, not very often. So with, with higher, you know, you, there's other ways of, of increasing your pricing is you can add more value actually on the venue. So I've seen people tend to bundle, uh, the um, providers tend to bundle everything in together. You have, the, you have the team yourself, all the equipment's in there, but actually you could, you could um, split those things out. You could have your have a cleaning service where people just leave and they leave it in a kind of okay. And then your cleaning service does the rest. You separate that equipment that they use and have charge for that. Uh, you could have ties with local providers who will add in maybe a room dressing service and that sort of thing, and they'll be happy to do that. Maybe charge for that. Um, other ways you can increase value out of uh, bookings that are already, already there. Maybe you've got a, a bridge club that's, that's in for an hour, um, and you say to them, look, if you pay for an hour and a half, then you would make it two hours, but you make, you, um, you make it so that they, they run into a period where actually there's no one booking normally anyway, so they kind of get more value and they pay more. The other thing you can look at is the higher pricing by the popular time and date slots. So if someone wants a wedding, um, a, a wedding, a venue for the weekend for a wedding, well then they pay for the whole weekend and actually um, I've, seen, I've seen venues charging 350. If you made it 450, I don't think anyone's gonna drop out. So there is definitely some, some things you can do with pricing, but if you can add more value and make it more attractive, it's better. 